okay so now this question is again taken right from the OG and uh, let's let's try to solve it using the same technique so uh, guys understand that you can still go back to your old technique and it will work uh, just to save you some time this technique can help you in a in lots of ways uh, a lot of time uh, so it's a good technique to learn every technique every new thing has a steep cur learning curve and you have to go through that but if you think you were better off with your old technique you can always go back to that but it never hurts to learn something new so anyway so this says a tank contains 10,000 gallons of a solution that is 5% sodium chloride and if 2500 gallons of water evaporate so here it's not being mixed here it's it's actually coming out so it's it's not uh, adding to it it's actually it's actually coming out from it so it's not really adding up adding to mixtures it's like getting something out of the mixture so anyway so i'll tell you how to uh, convert this problem to a mixture problem the remaining solution will be approximately what percentage sodium chloride so now let's draw this tank this is the tank and then some water evaporate from here let's say this much water evaporate and this is what was left in the tank okay the new tank and this is the vapor and this is the tank old tank okay so now old tank minus vapor gives you new tank what you can also say is new tank plus vapor will give you back the old tank because if you add that same water vapor to the new new tank new uh, solution it will give you back the old solution so what we are trying to do here is let's we'll take it this as a water vapor as b and this will be our resulting mixture and then we can solve it so now let's write it down a and b a is a the new tank would be 7500 gallons because 2500 has escaped from there so this will be 7500 this will be 2500 the this is the quantity okay the strength is uh, okay so the strength uh, of this is unknown this is what we have to find out 2500 uh, the strength of 2500 is known that is zero because it doesn't have any salt in it a uh, salt meaning sodium chloride so it's all water so it's zero and the resulting is five percent because that's the old that's the concentration of the old tank so that is five so we can simply write it down as uh, x minus five and this one as five minus zero which is five the ratio would be five is to x by five okay and uh, so x minus 5 now sim you can simply say 5 my x minus 5 is equals to 7500 by 2500 which is equal to just solve it this will be 3 so 5 is equals to 3x minus 15 so uh, 3x equals to 20 so x equals 20 by 3 which is 6.67 so this goes your answer this is your answer okay now so very quickly we solved it so we just wrote 7500 x 5 x minus 5 0 5 5 and we wrote 5 by x minus 5 we were able to uh, frame the equation very quickly using this method and uh, the, the other other benefit of this method is since it's pictorial it's very hard to go wrong you in by while framing equations you can you know m uh, mess up with x or you know you might find out what's left and not what the total uh, amount so here you actually have a very uh, clear idea of what you are trying to figure out and and uh, th this will be basically a very safe method to apply okay now let's go on to the other problem so this is again a problem for OG and this one um, I'm not sure we uh, I'm not sure it uses the same technique because it's it's not really a mixture problem it's more of a ratio proportion problem but I have picked it anyway because I have a shorter method to do it you can always go back to the solution given in OG and uh, you can compare you would see that my uh, approach is much smaller much shorter and smarter so maybe you would uh, try to uh, 
understand it and maybe you like it so let's 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 do this so the ratio by volume of soap to alcohol to water so write down soap alcohol and water in a certain solution is 2 is to 50 is to 100 means if there are two parts of soap there will be 50 parts of alcohol and 100 parts of water so the total solution will be 152 okay the solution will be altered so that the ratio of soap to alcohol is doubled while the ratio of soap to water is halved if the altered solution will contain 100 cubic meters of alcohol how many cubic okay so now what you have to do here is uh, let's do the first step soap to alcohol is doubled so soap to alcohol is doubled meaning if soap is doubled the alcohol remains the same this is the first step okay first operation the second operation is the ratio of soap to water is halved so soap to water is halved the second is meaning let's not see this let's let's forget about the first let's for, forget about the first operation we are still going back to soap to water is halved so soap is 2 and water is 100 so soap is half meaning if soap is made 1 water still remains 100 because now earlier it was 2 to 100 now it's 1 by 100 so it's halved and in the first operation it was 2 to 50 but now it's 4 to 50 so it was doubled so, okay so okay so what we will try to do here is since after after the first step soap becomes 4 and alcohol becomes 50 so we'll try to bring the soap in the second step to 4 so if to make it 4 you will have to multiply by 4 so it will be 4 and this will be 400 and this will be 50 because for 4 this thing becomes 400 but this thing is 50 so now it's 4 is to 50 is to 400 so basically what we are doing here is uh, we are trying to bring everything to the same base so since you increase 2 to 4 and this remained at 50 but you decrease 2 to 1 and this remained at 100 so what we are trying to bring this 100 so that it corresponds to the 4 year so if 1 corresponds to 100 4 corresponds to 400 so 4 corresponds to 50 for alcohol but 4 corresponds to 400 for water so 4 50 and 400 but as you can see this uh, as you can see that we can uh, still uh, fact, uh, factor out something from here so dividing it by 2 this is 2 this is 25 and this is 200 okay so now they are saying if the alter solution will contain 100 cubic centimeters of alcohol so alcohol is 100 so this means this is 4 times so this will be again 4 times so this will be 800 so, so guys I was explaining this and that's why it took me a lot of time here but if we were to do it if I were to do it very simply what I'll do it is I would have simply written it something like this uh, I would have taken 250 100 soap alcohol water and soap alcohol is double so I'll say 4 is to 50 and what soap to water is half so i would say one is 200 so i'll make it as four and 400 i'll bring everything down 450 400 and this is 100 so this will be into two 800 so this took me like less than half a minute and that's the way to do it on the gmat okay now let's move on to the others uh, another problem